Hey everybody, lesson 16 here, part 1. Uh, subject is going to be the unwarped, the unwarped fretboard, um, and unwarped patterns such as the S3S. Okay, that was, uh, you know, done in the key of G, but actually it comes out as a E flat. Honey's hurt herself. Ow. You okay? What I had. I, there was something like in the back of my, I don't know, the wood chip? Or I think was something was, she stepped, oh, something okay. got into her sandal. Like a wood chip or something. All right. Like yeah. Well, oh, those wood chips are, that's why I don't like them. They are, they are all splintery. I'm you don't want your animals like eating wood chips. All right. Anyway, we're talking about the, 7L unwarped, but before we get to the 7L unwarped patterns, we have to see how they're built. Okay, so it would be up here. These are the basic building blocks of major scales. Now it starts out, I'm going to draw this a little bit, it starts out with just outlining these patterns here. This is the stack of two long. See how long it is? And it's a stack of two. And this is the stack of three short. Now I'm going to just do the square part here. Okay. That is the stack of three short. The, the seventh and the fourth are added because what's missing from two, three, five, six, R2? The fourth and the seventh. So, is this a major scale right here? No. It's a pentatonic scale. Pentatonic scale just has five members. It repeats itself here. So, it'd be two, three, five, six, root two. Or, a pentatonic scale in order is root two, three, five, six. That's all it is. That's what a pentatonic scale is. So now that's a that's a pentatonic scale starting on two. Up here, and, and the, these are the frets. Okay, so this is three strings of the guitar. Almost any three. On the bottom four strings, the bottom four. Here's the top four. Here's the top two. Here's the bottom. This is the lowest string, you know, the bass string. Okay, and, and, and then up here is the top string. All right. So the bottom of the stack, all right, if this is on the first four strings from the bottom, this is the way it goes. And if this is within those first four strings, this is the way it goes. Until it hits the tuning warp. Okay, so as you go. This right here is just a third. Okay, those two strings are the, the uh, I guess it's the, uh, that's a third. So it's, All right, if it was a fourth, it would be. All right. And then after that third, it goes back to a fourth. All right. So those patterns would be the same unless they were involved with the top three strings, the top two strings, actually. So let's start this pattern from, let's say, the third string up, okay? So the two is usually the purple note, third string up. I'm going to start it from here. I, 
had to warp it on the third string. So the third string, the R2, had to do one of these things. I'll show you. I'm going to um, cut it. I'm going to cut it. All right, and then we're going to paste it back on. And show you what happened to that. There. Ignoring this now. We want to ignore this. Because that would have moved over too. So that's the pattern when it's warped. But it's still the same pattern. It's just a warped stack of three short. Okay? That's what's going on. Basically. And we can put it back. Boop. So, so, let's see. We've got about four minutes. Oh, yeah. Cursor mode. So, let's look at the uh, 7L. We've got these two patterns are the basic patterns. It, it didn't go back. I did that yesterday. It wasn't in cursor mode. It didn't go back until we get into that cursor mode. Now, why isn't it, it, it's it's just not, there it is. There it is, now it's, now it's back the way it was. So this is, this is, these are the two patterns, okay? Pentatonic is just the middle part. Here, pentatonic is just the 6-3 and the R5 without the 4-7. So the rule of thumb is with these two building blocks, pentatonic or a five member scale excludes the four and the seven. So whatever's left is your pentatonic scale. Now, we'll go over to the pattern stack and see what's happening over there. So we take this guy, we start somewhere, okay? So we take this guy and start on the bottom. So that would be like the second to be up here for C, it's the second, all right? Um, I like to stay in the key of C just to keep things simple. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Right there. Now, because this is a A-flat instrument, it actually would come out A-flat, okay? Starting on the two. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was pentatonic or diatonic that I was playing. So, here it is. This is most of a pentatonic scale. Actually, it's most of a diatonic scale, and it is, plus an extra two. Because it goes root, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it has an extra two. But j believe me, just learn it like this, and there's a reason for that. Okay? And uh, it, it, there is a very important reason for that. It has to do with the way that these these patterns are put together. Okay, so here's your stack of three short here, stack of three short here in this L7. Where's the L? I'm going to show you where the L is. Now, this is just, you know, it's a little game that I made, okay? The L is actually right here. There's the big L. See, it kind of looks like a big fat L. All right, or there, there's other ways of looking at it. You could look at it like, let's see if we could get a better color on it, maybe. Maybe some yellow. Okay. So, you could look at it as um, just an L from here. Same thing. Same thing. Where you're circling in between the notes that you'd be playing in a pentatonic. You wouldn't play the four or the seven. You wouldn't play the accidentals. Now the seven. Let's do a different color for the seven. So the seven is usually going to be purple or red. We'll do the same thing. We'll just we'll just outline what colors need what notes need not to be played. But that makes the seven shape. So there it is. 